Let's solve this question. A computer uses a memory of 65536 words with 8 bits in each word. That means the size of the memory you need would be 65536 cross 8. It has following registers PC, TR, AR. These three registers are of size 16 bits and three more registers AC, IR and DR of size 8 bits. A memory reference instruction consists of three words. It occupies a total of three words in the memory an 8 bit op code and a 16 bit address in the next two words so as the uh, capacity the storage capacity of each location in the memory is only 8 bits if you want to store a 16-bit address for any memory reference instruction, you have to divide that address into two parts. So, uh, first part would be an 8-bit portion of the address and another 8 bits of the same address will be stored in the next memory location. All operands are of size 8 bits. And there is no indirect bit. That means only one uh, addressing mode is to be used. Uh, now, this is the given information. Now, let us understand what is asked. So, first part is draw a block diagram of the basic computer sorry this is not the basic computer draw a block diagram of the computer showing the memory and registers so you have to just show the placement of memory and registers uh, they are not even required to be connected to the bus because that thing is not asked then in the second part uh, you have to draw a diagram showing the placement in memory of a typical three word instruction and the corresponding eight bit operand. So basically in the second part, you have to show how an instruction will be stored in the memory and how an operand will be placed in some memory word. Third part is list the sequence of micro operations for fetching a memory reference instruction and placing the operand in DR. You have to read an operand from the memory and store it in the data register DR. Start from timing signal T0. So basically to complete this task, you have to define the whole cycle, the whole instruction cycle, which will start from timing signal T0. So uh, let us first answer the first part that is draw a block diagram of the computer showing the memory and registers. Okay, uh, so the bus is not required to be shown. We have to just show the registers and the memory. The size of the memory you need is 65536 cross 8. So this is the memory. And we have a total of 6 registers available. Uh, 3 registers of size 16 bits. These registers are PC, AR and TR. You can also mention the size 0 to 15 for each of these three. And three more registers are available, AC, IR and DR, each of size 8 bits.
this is just a block diagram to, so the sequence is not important 0 to 7 would be the size for this three registers. So the first part is answered, the block diagram that shows the memory and registers. So this is part A. Now what is to be done in part B? You have to draw a diagram that shows the placement in memory of a typical three word instruction and the corresponding eight bit operand. So uh, here you need to again draw a block diagram for the memory unit. As it is given in the question, the width of the memory is 8 bits. So total 8 bits are available for the memory. Okay, now if you uh, consider any instruction in this memory then there will be three memory locations available for that now what will be stored in this three memory words we have already identified that information an 8-bit operation code so that will be the first part then one half of the address because the address is having a total of 16 bits and as the storage capacity of each memory word is 8 bits, you have to divide that 16-bit address into two parts. So address part 1 and address part 2 in the next memory word. So this is how an instruction will be stored in the memory. Now uh, in the same memory you need, the operands will also be available. So if you want to show the placement of any particular operand then you can simply do it like this it is also mentioned that operands are of size 8 bits so one memory word is sufficient for storing an operand so this is the answer to the second part part b now what is to be done in the third part list the sequence of micro operations for fetching a memory reference instruction and then placing the operand in dr start from timing signal t0 so remember that the given configuration is not for the basic computer some other computers configuration is described and uh, all these things are to be given for that new computer very limited information is given for uh, defining the instruction cycle for this new computer so let us see uh, what should be the exact micro operations for the instruction cycle So we have to start from timing signal T0. Now uh, to define this timing signal, uh, sorry, to define this instruction cycle, the answer you have given in the second part is important. So if you want to execute this instruction, which is currently available in the memory, then PC must point to the first word of this instruction the opcode part so uh, using this pc value this instruction can be read now in which register the instruction is to be placed of course in ir because that is the basic objective of the instruction register what is the size of ir 8 bits that means uh, using this pc value you can just read the first part which is of size 8 bits in IR. So either you can uh, first transfer PC to AR, both PC and AR are of size 16 bits, addresses are of size 16 bits in this configuration. So either you can transfer PC to AR and then M of AR to IR you can do just like we did uh, for the basic computer. But here you do not know whether the memory you need will receive the address from AR or PC or both. So as this thing is not clearly mentioned, we can take the advantage of uh, this missing information. What we can do, we can assume that PC can also directly provide input values to the memory. So M of PC to IR, this should be the first operation. PC is currently pointing here to the first memory word. 
so using the address available in pc you can read the first part of the instruction which is actually an opcode okay now you have to read this addresses also because ir uh, should have the opcode and address ideally but as ir is a very small size register in this configuration it will simply have the opcode the operation code the address is also required to be read to execute any given memory reference instruction but that will place in ar because ir does not have enough space to store everything in it so if you want to now refer to the next memory word which is having the first part of the address you have to update pc so pc is required to be incremented by 1 so here along with this transfer you can also write pc plus 1 to pc okay in the next clock cycle as now pc is pointing to this location you can read the first part of the address into ar what is the size of ar 16 bits so this 8 bit address will fit into the first part of ar 0 to 7 still one more part of the instruction is required to be accessed that is actually second part of the address so you have to again increment pc by 1 so that it can now point to the third part of the instruction so after doing this you have to use one more clock cycle t2 to read next 8 bit of the address in ar so 8 ar of 8 to 15 will have again m of pc the second part of the address and here also you have to increment pc by 1 because when you increment pc by 1 at this point it will point to the next sequential address next sequential instruction okay so uh this is fetching the instruction and reading the effective address in AR. Now, what is the task specified in the question? Once you have this address available in the AR, you have to access the memory location from that address value and you have to place that content in DR. So basically, M of AR to DR, that is the required transfer. As the whole 16-bit address is now available in AR. You can access the memory using that address and whatever is accessed from that location can be directly placed in DR. So this will be the required sequence of micro operations.